Oh, I should have just left this alone. I'm not, I screwed it up. Fuck. Hello, Jam. My name is Ohemo Bonsu, and if this is your first time clicking to watch any of my videos, welcome. I'm really glad that you're here. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel, hitting that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. You can be the first person to see my videos whenever I upload them. Okay. If you are a returning subscriber, you know that I love you so much. Like, you mean the world to me. We have finally, finally, finally. <laughs> We finally crossed over the, the 10,000 and I am really, really grateful to you guys for that. Finally, thank God we're here. I can only pray that the next stop is 100K. I want to keep doing this for you guys. Like I want to keep bringing you guys the, the foundation dilemmas and the shades that don't work so well and the crazy eyeshadow looks that I <laughs> I am really, really, really thankful for that. Like, you have no idea how thankful I am for that. That it will just keep growing for me because I know how hard it is for dark-skinned girls in the beauty community because a lot of people think that we don't know how to do makeup. A lot of people think that we cannot blend properly. A lot of people think that, you know, we cannot make it look good. But in actuality, it is not our fault. We just don't have the right products or the right tones or the right... Um, complexion products to mm -hmm. use to make everything look beautiful and flawless and blended. So I'm really, really glad that we you know we're getting somewhere and we're actually getting the shades that we want. There's still a long way to go because there's shades that don't match certain undertones and certain people. A lot of people just don't know how to address that. But hopefully, everything will go so well for us that we will eventually get there to where any any brand has the product to match us and our undertones and everything so thank you guys so much i'm rambling thank you guys so much for 10k i'm really really praying that we will hit 100k before the year is over i will literally i don't know i'll go skydiving if we hit 100k and i will bring you guys along okay so thank you guys so much um let's get into this video because i've been rambling for way too long Today I am going to take a look at a palette that released from Juvia's Place a while ago. I At first I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the palette because looking at the tones, I wasn't sure that I can actually use this palette to its fullest potential. However, it is time for us to see if Juvia's Place Warrior Palette is dark skin friendly. Like the shimmers are really beautiful in here. The shimmers have like the rich tones that I expect. It, is, it just doesn't have enough transition shades. Do you know what I mean? Like I that's how I feel that it doesn't have enough transition shade. However, I see that there's a really deep brown chocolatey tone in here. And I see this really light amber colored matte shade in here. And then there's also a really light, almost like, um, I don't know how to describe this, this powder. I, I really don't know what color it is. However, the shimmers in here are all really pretty. So we get three transition options. You can just go really, really, really super smoky, bold look, or you can do a really, light look. Being the dramatic eye type that I am, I am just going to do a bold look. So we're going to use this palette and see if this palette is dark skin friendly. So I am first going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I have the old bottle thing. And then I'm going to go over it again with the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to blend it out with my finger. I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 42. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. I'm taking my XM Cosmetics blending brush and I'm going to blend this out quickly before it decides to dry up on me. I'm taking a blending brush from the Morphe 685 set and I'm taking the shade Cano and I'm using that as a I'm using that as a transition, my first transition shade, and I'm just going to use it to set the top of this concealer because it doesn't really show up really deeply on my skin tone, even with this concealer. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Mino and I'm putting that right here and I'm just patting it in. This shade is really, really rich. It's not black, 
I mean, you can tell that it's brown, but it's like a really, it's a blackened brown. It's really deep. And I'm just patting it in. I feel like this color matches my skin tone. <laughs> so I'm placing the color exactly where I want it to go and I'm just patting it out. Okay, so I'm taking back Cano and I'm going to use Cano to blend out the edge of this. I went back in with the shade Nino and I'm blending it out a little higher. I'm just smoking out the outer. I'm taking Mino again and just intensifying Mino. Like I want Mino to be really, really intense around where I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm just putting Mino and so you guys, I have been asked to do a and a and I know most people get to 10K and like, okay, Q&A, what do you want to know about me? Um, if you are interested in a Q&A, go ahead and leave me a question down below or send me a message on Instagram. So if you send me questions, I will put together a um, get ready with me or I will just do a Q&A video just by itself. Okay, so let me know. Okay, also I feel like this is as deep as it's gonna get. You know, it's a chocolatey brown color. Um, on my skin tone, it just looks like it is my skin almost. But I know if you're lighter than me, it will literally like be so intense on you and it will just pop so much. Okay, so I am first going to cut my crease very lightly using the same concealer we used as our eyeshadow primer. So I messed up my cut crease right here. I'm taking a small pencil brush. This is not really that small. I'm going over this concealer that I mistake I made up here with the Mino shade so that it will fix it. There we go. I'm taking the e.l.f. glitter glue and I'm using that to go over this cut crease. Okay, first I'm taking the shade Dahomey. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And I'm putting that on the outer part of my eye. Okay, so after that shade, I'm taking the shade Idea and I'm putting that directly next to the first shimmer shade. And then I'm taking the shade, I'm taking the shade Amina and I am putting that at, towards the inner part of this cut crease. Okay, so now that I have my colors exactly where I want it, look at that gradient. I think it blends out really beautifully. I'm using that same brush and I'm blending Amina into Idea so that Amina and Idea can be beautifully married together. By the way, if you're getting married this year, congratulations. And I'm taking some Idea and I'm using that to blend into Dahomey. I'm taking the homey and I am just intensifying it on the outer parts of my eye. Okay, I'm taking Mino and I'm just going to pack Mino on the outer parts of my eye and just give me an angle over here. Okay guys, so this is it for now. I am going to go ahead and work on my other eye and we'll come back in. So I'm taking the Ray Ray brush number seven and I'm going to take Mino and I'm going to apply that to my lower eyelid. I'm just making sure it connects at the outer corner. Okay, so I'm taking my LA Colors Black Magic Pencil and this one. Okay, and I'm applying that directly into my waterline. Going in with my NYX, the liquid matte eyeliner, and I'm going to line my eyes like ever so lightly. Okay, guys, so I'm taking some Mino and I'm using that to blend out the outside of the center because it stops right in the middle. It's 
this one and this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Amina in my, my tear duct area. This is my finished look with the Juvia's Place Warrior palette. I have to tell you guys that I honestly, initially when I first saw this palette, I didn't think that it would show up on my skin tone. I am really happy that I got the palette. I'm also very happy that I'm, I'm spying myself. I'm also very happy that I decided to use it because it is a freaking gorgeous palette. Like, ugh, look at it. Just, just Look at it. Like, look at the size of these pans. Like the size of these pans are enormous. That the shimmers do shimmer really, really nicely. And they're really buttery. I mean, I dug in it, but it doesn't look like I destroyed it. It didn't come apart and break apart and get really ugly. I do have some fallout in the pan, but it's really not a lot. Even though I was like, I'm, I'm a swirler, so whatever happens, I'm gonna get some powder come up. I didn't get any fallout on my face except for the shimmers when I was patting it in because I put a lot on my brush, but that's my fault, not the palette's fault. So I feel like I didn't get any fallout on my face. I applied a lot of it on my face, on my eyes, but I didn't get a lot of fallout on my face. Maybe because I'm dark and the powder was dark, I really didn't notice it, but I didn't think I saw any fallout except for a few specks of shimmer that fell on my face. If you're gonna ask me if this palette is worth buying, I will say yes. But if you have one that has the shimmers in it, then it's up to you if you, especially now because it's 40% off. I don't know if it's still gonna be that way when I post this video, but I will admit I was wrong in thinking that this palette would not work for me because it absolutely did work for me. So this has been my review of the Judas Place Warrior palette. Let me know down below in the comments if you like this look. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below and also make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Also remember to thumbs up this video, make sure you share this video. Thank you so much for watching, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my very next video. Bye!